Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting July 4th, 2016. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you for being here with me. I hope this reading helps you. As always, please remember these are only general readings and so they will not apply to everybody watching, just so you know. Um, for a private reading specific to you, you can go to the link in the description box below. Just follow that, it will take you to my website. Um, for now, just use your intuition and take away the messages that resonate, the messages that make sense to you and your situation in this general reading. So Taurus, you have what looks like a balanced week for you guys. It looks like um, you're going to have the opportunity to feel more like yourselves and at the same time reach new heights, okay, with your creativity, with your ideas, with your um, inspiration as well. Um... So let's just get started. The overall energy for you this week, you're dealing with some endings and some wonderful new beginnings. We have the Ten of Winter. And the Ten of Winter is talking about the end of difficult situations. It is healing and release, uh, putting the past behind you, letting go of what no longer serves you, letting go of pain, letting go of, of drama, um, and just focusing on moving forward in a better direction for you, okay? Focusing on welcoming new energy, new people, new situations this week. Um, you are also going to experience a feeling of a weight being lifted off of your shoulders this week, okay? If you do this, if you release whatever needs releasing or whoever, and you move forward um, knowing that you're moving forward in a better direction and you're making choices to make sure that you're moving forward in a positive direction. It could also be the end of difficult situations, the end of um, addictions for you this week, the end of codependency issues this week for you as well. It's just a sense of healing, a sense of peace that comes through in the card and also preparing yourself for new beginnings all around, okay, this week. In terms of your career, finances, personal projects, education, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is awesome. It's a really beautiful energy. Um, it is Earth, so it could be representing you. Um, the Page of Pentacles stands for new energy, new beginnings that come through positive communication. The Page of Pentacles is talking about good news coming your way this week in terms of anything to do with your money, anything to do with finances, anything to do with education, waiting on test results, exam results, anything like that. Um, positive news in terms of new jobs coming in or positive news in terms of um, advancement or promotion in your current situation, okay? Although with the Ten of Winter, I would say it's it's a brand new beginning for a lot of you this week. This could also be a celebration in terms of your graduating or you're graduating from a program or a training course or anything like that. You're completing it, okay, with the Ten of Winter and it was very challenging for you mentally perhaps. However, it's all worth it because it could be that as a result of that, you have a brand new job offer on the table or people extending opportunity to you this week, communication in terms of um, asking you what your interests are, where you're going, what plans you have for uh, your career, and then and then giving you opportunities and, um, and offers. The Knight of Pentacles also asks you to do some research this week. I feel that if a lot of things are coming to culmination and ending for you in a beautiful way in terms of you have healing and release, do some research, you know, spend some time on your own to figure out what it is that you want to do next. Don't rush into anything. Give yourself some time to heal. With the Ten of Winter and the Page of Pentacles, this could also be the end of a difficult situation in terms of your finances. So if you've been asking for loans or um, anything to do with dealing with banks or anything like that, you know, government institutions, to do with your home, with the property, with your financial situation. The Page of Pentacles is telling you that things are uh, going to work out for you. You're going to hear good news about that this week. Uh, make sure you read everything carefully if you're dealing with paperwork and, or anything like that. But other than that, just embrace the opportunities and make the best of them. And also be practical on how you spend your resources this week. In terms of home and family, we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is, it can be difficult energy. However, for you, with the Ten of Winter and the, nine, the Knight of Swords, um, I'm getting the sense that some of you may be moving this week. And maybe that's why you're in talks with banks and anything like that. 
because the Knight of Swords is taking flight, it's action, it's movement forward. And then with the Ten of Winter, you're leaving something behind, you're leaving the past in the past, you're moving forward to a new situation. So for some of you, I feel that you're relocating this week, and maybe this has not been the easiest process for you. But it is here, okay, you have made it, you are successful, so continue to follow your vision because uh, you're not wrong in this situation. If you've made a decision, I feel that if you've made a decision to um, let go of a certain home, a certain place, or a situation to do with home and family, uh, keep moving down that path because it is taking you to a place of healing and it is taking you to a place of cutting out drama uh, and difficulty from your life this week. Further, this could be a difficult character that you're dealing with, and this may be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, and I feel like this is someone who acts before they think. So if you're dealing with this kind of person, um, as always, you know, just take the high road. I feel like don't engage them. Um, I feel that they may be going through a bit of a difficult time, and, and they're, they're very stubborn, and they lash out of, at people this week just because they feel stressed and out of control. Um, so if this is the case, I feel like, you know, nip it in the bud, just get out of their way, don't engage this person, and uh, that will help you stay in a calm place, and it will help them um, kind of find a different way to release that tension. In terms of emotional life and love life, we have the Six of Pentacles, and this is really good. The Six of Pentacles talks about a sense of support. A sense of um, your material and emotional needs being fulfilled in unexpected ways. Um, the Six of Pentacles talks about balance that is restored in your life. Okay, so maybe you've, you're finding emotional balance. Maybe you're finding emotional healing that comes after this Ten of Winter situation where you release whatever needs releasing and you welcome new beginnings. Okay, that's what the Six of Pentacles represents. It's cycles. Okay, it's one wheel turning so that another one can start turning as well and keeping all of that going. Um, the six of, six of Pentacles also talks about an Earth sign that maybe you're dealing with this week, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and this may be their Sun sign, Moon sign, or Rising sign because it's a very general reading. Um, and so with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Winter, I feel like this is someone who is there for you. This is someone who maybe started out as a friend and now things are getting romantic between the two of you. Maybe you're seeing them in a different light. Um, this is someone who's helping you heal. So I feel like if you meet this person and they offer to uh, take you out or they tell you that they want to spend time with you and get to know you better, I feel like, you know, take your time. I feel like they're not in a rush either, so they're not going to push you. But give them a chance because this is really going to help you heal from whatever it is that you need to be healing from, okay, with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Winter. Um, and for those of you in existing relationships, I feel like this is a really good week for healing. This is a week for communication to happen, for practical down-to-earth communication to happen where you're bringing forward whatever's not working or wherever there's misconception or misunderstanding between the two of you. And you're really um, looking at that and clearing things up, okay, and cutting things away. I feel like you're coming up with a new vision for the relationship, with new standards for the relationship. But the Six of Pentacles is telling you that you're both on the same page. You can trust each other. Um, you're going to work together to move forward with this relationship in a much better direction. And for those of you who maybe feel like you have to leave, a certain relationship this week that maybe it's just not serving you anymore maybe it's just too difficult or too draining or unfair for you I feel like you know what trust yourself trust your intuition and move forward let this go and rely on your friends and family to help you through this this week and in the coming weeks because you have a really strong support system around you for your health and well-being we have the knave of swords or the page of swords so we have another page I feel like for some of you, this is the communication you've been waiting on in terms of ending an addiction or ending uh, something that was bad for you in terms of your health, um, old habits or things that you've just been trying to shake for a long time, but it's just not been happening. I feel like you've made some changes, you've made some decisions, and this is the week when you're hearing about test results or exams or anything like that. And this communication is 
really positive for you because it's telling you about the end of that difficulty, the end of that ailment. Um, and you're moving forward towards healing. I feel like you're just getting started. But you do have, again, you have a good support system available to you. You have access to a knowledge. You have people you can talk to. Okay, you have good professionals around you who can help you through this. And this is just the beginning for you, but it's definitely talking about the end of a difficult situation or something that hasn't been working um, or something that was uh, bad for you in terms of your health and well-being this week. And you may, you're definitely walking away from, but I, well, more importantly, you're cutting away things that do not work. So I, maybe you're looking at your diet this week. Maybe you're looking at your fitness program. Maybe uh, you're looking at what kind of exercises you've been doing and assessing objectively, okay, based on results. What is working? What is not working? What you need to add to your diet? What you need to take away from it? Uh, do you need to exercise more? Do you need to exercise less? Maybe you're overdoing it. And so I feel like there's a lot of communication and basing your decisions on facts, results um, that is happening for you this week. And it's giving you a new beginning because it's, it's telling you that you're on the right track and you're moving towards healing, stress, um, healing stress, okay, um, getting your strength back, okay, and getting your confidence back um, and things balancing out in terms of your health. The guidance message you have this week, we have Rochelle. And Rochelle is telling you that as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So this is telling you that whatever concerns you may have had about your prosperity, about your financial situation, your security, I feel like you've been doing the right things, you've been following the guidance, you've been receiving intuitively and also from experts and anything like that. And so you have prosperity that is coming to you this week because you have followed your inner guidance. And if you're not doing this, this is telling you, you should definitely pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your gut, because it will guide you in the right direction in terms of talk to this person or kind of get out of this person's way because they're not in a good place or give this person a chance and so on and so forth. And so prosperity is coming to you this week and prosperity can mean different things to different people. It can be a love life, it can be to do with jobs, it can be to do with money, it can do, be to do with health and well-being. But this is a really good week for you in terms of ending things, situations, jobs, whatever, that are not working for you anymore or ending a difficult phase and embracing new energy, new people, new situations that bring you closer to what you consider to be abundance and prosperity. Okay, so that's really, really good. That's very positive. So thank you for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.